On Wednesday, the US dollar made an attempt to decline even more. The S&P 500 futures rose, while the 10-year Treasury yields dropped following a rise in commodities. Such fluctuations may lead to volatility. China finally unveiled long anticipated economic data. As it turned out, industrial production increased by 5.3% year on year in August 2021, which was shy of analyst forecast. This was the weakest growth in industrial production since July 2020. The slowdown occurred due to current restrictions, a shortage of semiconductors and imposed measures to combat high levels of pollution. These factors are sure to have an impact on financial markets as well. At the same time, the core US consumer prices rose at the slowest pace in six months in August, suggesting that inflation had probably peaked. It could remain high for some time amid persistent supply con constraints. The US Labor Department said on Tuesday its consumer price index, excluding the volatile food and energy confidence, rose by 0.1% last month. That was the smallest gain since February. The US dollar dipped because of weak reports and other factors. Now it's trading at 92 and 50. However, it may drop lower to 92 and 30 and 92 and 40 and then adjust upwards. After the release of the US consumer price data, the dollar yen pair also began to decline. Now it's trading at 109 and 45. Yesterday, the pair broke through the support level, which was in line with our forecast. On Tuesday, there was also a decline in the key stock indexes. If the stock market continues to fall, the next target will be the level of 109 and 20. If so, the pair may slide to 108 and 35, which is the low locked on May 11 and March 11. The Australian dollar fell by 48 pips yesterday and then halted its decline. It may turn upwards or break through the corrective level of 0.70 to 80. Today, macroeconomic data from China was published. It was uh, somehow affect the movement of the price. Analysts believe that a false downward movement is likely to develop for some time. Well, the technical indicators are showing a slow trend reversal. The situation may clear up probably by the evening as the US is going to release its industrial production data. The reading is likely to be worse than the forecast one. Since early September, namely the August estimates, the economic indicators of the Eurozone have been generally more positive than the American ones. And that's all for now. We wish you profitable deals and see you on our channel with a new video in a couple of hours.